So we're here at Atmel, and who are you? So hi, I'm Eric. Uh, so I'm with the Cuters Product Marketing Team based out of Norway. So this is the main reason I'm here. Uh, Atmel just recently introduced the world's lowest power capacitive touch surface. So this is based on the Atmel Smart Controllers. This is a SAM D20. It has the peripheral touch controller, which is the hardware engine that enables this touch surface. So the key points here is, it's really ultra low power. It works down to 4 microamps, wake up on touch for 4 microamps. And also it uh, supports dual touch, so you can do two touches. And if you see here, you can see the X and Y position and the area. You can also have a touch reporter where it shows where your finger is. So, 4 microamps, how low is that? Uh, it's, it's really, really low. So are, you, are you saying like basically yeah. the, the touch can be always enabled and then when waiting for you to touch it? Yeah, and then it runs out of 4 microamps until you touch it, it wakes up, does the acquisition and then uh, finds out what it needs to do and then goes back to sleep. So you don't need a power button? No. So you just have a... a so it just stays and waits? Yeah. And then when you touch it, how high does it go? Oh, it depends on your application. It's like typically maybe 150 to 200 microamps, but it really depends on the application. So how is it compared to other solutions from before? From Atmo? From anyone. So for Atmo, this is the first time you're doing uh, touch surface on a microcontroller. And this is the key selling point here. This is, on average, it's consuming around 10% of the CPU power, which means you have 90% out of the core to do whatever you want to do. So 90% for what? Yeah, you can do it with uh, any maintenance controller, or you can do any type of control, LEDs, or uh, communication, anything. So this is the f this is the way Atmel would do touch yeah. capacity? Yeah. And it's by doing it much lower power than everybody else? Yeah, the, 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 this is the most lowest power. So I think the closest is like around 12 micrograms. So it's three times the battery lifetime. So, like. so if you have a tablet with this, how long does it last before... Well, the tablet then you need to go for the max touch, the bigger, bigger high-end version of the touch controllers you have. This is, this is more for remote controls, PC mouse, gaming, or wearables like health, health bands, fitness bands, or GPS trackers, sport watches, these things. So you can have this on a smartwatch kind of device? Yeah. And it lasts for a long time on a smartwatch? Yeah, sure. Like, not decades? No, it depends. I, 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 well, let me put it this way. It, it's not the touch that's going to drain the battery. It's the other parts of it. Yeah.